What's going on guys, it's the Spectrum here. Thought I'd do a, a vlog video today, because I haven't done a haven't done a vlog in in God knows how long. I haven't I think the last time I did like an actual vlog that I really really wanted to like, the last vlog I did that I posted on YouTube was I think Road to Nationals, the last video. And then Oh, what's the other and then I I've recorded loads since. I did one for a game fest which fell because all the all the footage was like that there was, you couldn't hear me talking at all, and it was like, uh, why would I watch this? And then there was uh, the Photon Shockwave sneak peek, which I completely forgot to load up. Um, I like, I, it was a great plan. Like, no one at my locals knew I was going, so um, I had like recorded myself saying, "I'm going to locals tomorrow," Shh. like here in my uni room, and then. Like I recorded everything there, and I never posted it because I completely forgot. Because by the time I got like back, ready to edit the footage, I was like, "Eh, nah, can't be bothered." And it was like too late by the time I got around to it because like everyone had already posted their photo and shot like sneak peek, sneak peeks videos. So I was like, "Ah, screw it, can't be bothered." But um, I think the, the I don't think you guys have seen my face in a long time, which is I know a weird thing to say, but um, it's true. I think the last time my face would have been on YouTube was like Christmas when I was at Locals again and Pusey uh, did a reaction video of uh, there was a tin which he said had tour guide in it and they're trying to get me to buy the, the tin to get um, tour guide and uh, yeah they recorded them opening the tin and me being right speaking of which Pusey where is that video why didn't you upload it get your shit together come on anyway uh, speaking of other YouTubers, um, go give some love to Bit and Ave. He's the guy I do the uh, pub chat podcast with, and um, yeah, he's uh, most of his recent videos have got me in it. I think he's we did a dual com, and then we've done some um, game series together. So go and go to his channel. I'll leave a link in the underbar, and uh, tell him to upload more because he doesn't do it enough. Anyway, uh, so today I thought. Okay, yeah, the first reason I'm, vlo um, I'm vlogging today is because I just spent three days, my three-day weekend, which I have, like, every weekend, playing nothing but Skyrim and watching live streams. So I would sit here and my dual monitors with, like, Skyrim there and a live stream there, and that's all I would do for, like, a day. So I did that Friday night. Yeah, Friday night. Friday morning as well, actually, to be honest. Um, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And I got so burnt out. I was finishing off playing as my mage so I could do um, the coverage of him. I could do my, my mage character cell like I did with my melee character not too long ago. Um, they take a long time to make those videos. So um, I was going to do him soon. I was just getting to the end of it. And I got so burnt out. Three days, I'm like... When I first started off the, the weekend, it was like 40 hours played of Skyrim, and that's like all my characters combined. And now, just from the weekend, it's gone up to like 63. Oh, it was ridiculous. So that's nearly like a day's worth of Skyrim played in like three days. It was ridiculous. I'm so burnt out on it. On Monday, I was like, I, I must go outside. I must see the outside world, because it was just... So I'm not going to be posting Skyrim for like a week, because I just can't find the strength to go and play it and like my eyes hurt when I play it and my mouse is like crap with it and I need a new mouse pad because it's all day and my mouse isn't working on it properly. I'm playing on Mast and now so playing it a melee character is so frustrating. I was dying in Helgen. Who dies in Helgen? Come on. Anyway, uh, what I thought I'd do um, this vlog on today actually was um, it's Tuesday. Now Tuesday for me is like the worst morning ever because after Monday which we have off at uni we have a nine o'clock start which means you have to be up on average if you want to get in for me at least I woke I used to wake up at seven now I'm waking up at like ten past six just so I have enough time to do everything I need to do and I thought a lot of my subscribers are quite young I guess or like they must be younger than me because I don't know too many people who like sub to people who are younger than them um, I thought I'd do like a video on how to have a good start with, with early mornings because it's something I've found I've done quite successfully recently. So if you are at school or sixth form, college, university, whatever, and you have some early starts, 
the first thing to do is find a routine that you feel fresh every morning doing. That's not like the same, doesn't feel like the same routine, but it is. So for me, every morning I feel a bit groggy, you know, you, when you just get up, you feel a bit like, uh, 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 I don't want to be up right now. I get headaches as well, like every morning, I'm like, oh, my head. So what I do, go straight to the shower in there behind the Halo Reach poster. And that generally helps me, you know, wake up uh, and and all that. But before, just before that, I'll come over here to my dual monitors and I'll, you know, whack on the, the, uh, the laptop and, and all that. Come down and I'll just stick some music on. So go into my iTunes. I've got a bunch of different playlists for like all my different favorite types of music. I've like, if don't know if you could see, I've got like the volume like almost maxed out, so I can just like hear it going through to my bathroom. And um, yeah, it's just so fun. I listen to some really really energetic music. I've got like Muse and Blackstone Cherry. We also like two of my favorite bands. I've got some Trivium and Pendulum down here. Iron Maiden, Death Clock. Just some really good music that I enjoy. Uh, Death, Clock, uh, Death, Clock, Death Clock is awesome, just going to say, but uh, Blackstone Cherry are really, really good if you like rock, and uh, you like really, really energetic, and quite frankly, motivational music. Um, yeah, so that's that. So, in the shower, listen to music, yeah, yeah, yeah come out, and I'll, what I'll generally do after that, I've moved like, the same camera angle about three times now, Um, generally, while I'm sat down, you're getting dressed, or... Get my, my coffee ready down here. I'll be watching some YouTube videos just to entertain myself with, or I'll be reading the news since I am a journalist. I uh, should really uh, read the news and whatnot. But yeah, just find some videos, just find some content that you really enjoy watching every morning. Like I like Sandy Ravage's videos because it's like Metallica esque music to Epic One Author to Slaughter Edge, so it's, it's really really fun for me to watch in the mornings. Um, Yes, yeah, so that's the first bit. Second of all, find like whatever you like to eat, for, like cereal and a drink. Every morning I start off with coffee and some cereal or some toast. Have some toast down there. Well, what used to be toast is now crumbs. Um, and because like I'm not making it, well, I make the coffee in my room, but I don't make the toast or the cereal in my room. So it gives me a chance to get out of where I woke up, get like my mind sorted out. And it doesn't feel like I'm moving around too much because ba basically everything's centered around here. But at the same time, like, I'm keeping it fresh, I'm keeping mobile, and that's what I like doing. So that's something I could say, like, just keep mobile, because we all know that early mornings suck. And then, if you're fresh like that, if you have a good start in the morning, you're going to have a good rest of the day. So that's my that's my tip on having early starts. And it may work, you've got to find your own thing. It's not just copying what you see on YouTube, it's finding your own thing and keeping motivated. And that's what I find works for me. So... That's it for today, guys. I'm going to do an update vlog perhaps tomorrow on just what, what's going to happen. What I've decided with what's going to happen with the channel for like the next few months because uh, things change, you know, things will happen. And yeah, adios.